Hey, somebody needs to, somebody needs this lesson today, so I'm about to give somebody a lesson on how to change brakes. See, 2015 Chevy Silverado. About to show somebody how to change some brakes. Save yourself a little bit of money. I'm about to move this. So I can jack this thing up. One thing you really need to do is you need to go invest in a jack because you never know when you're going to have a flat or when you need to lift that car up to do some work. So, first thing. Make sure you got your tires blocked in the back so your car don't roll and make sure you're on a flat surface. So, what I'm do now is I'm gonna find a sturdy point on this chassis. Yeah, you think I knew that big word, did you? Find a spot on the chassis. So I just want to get up on this before I jack it up. I want to break the lug nuts. Get your four way. That way you can do different things in different vehicles. And not be limited. And I got the lug nuts broke. Get it up in there. Use a screwdriver to get that center piece off. Here's two of And that's where I'm going to put my lug nuts. So I don't lose any of them. So I got all six of those on. Put 
Move the tire. Turn the tire like this. So I have my seat. One thing you really want to go invest in, if you're going to be doing some brakes, I'm going to get you something that looks like this tool right here to help you get these brakes in. Now, this right here, socket. Use a 19 millimeter, or this right here is a three quarter. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to loosen the bolt on these, on these uh, brake calipers. Be a little tough, but don't strip out your boat. You don't have problems on your hand. Yes. Yes, yes. That's tough. Take these two bolts out. Now, depending on how old, depending on how old these are, is how difficult it's going to be to remove. So, two bolts, use a three quarter, 19 millimeter. That's what holds your caliper on, so don't lose those. All right, now, should be an easy process to remove this, but like I said, you know, if they grease the brakes, well, they didn't grease the brakes. So, right here. Looks like they didn't grease the brakes. So since they didn't grease the brakes, now I have to pry this thing off. And you don't want to damage anything. So all I want is get, a, get this thing to move a little bit. Don't want to ruin anything or damage anything. Up a little bit. Where did that caliper off? Some people use a, a, a hook, but you don't want to put tension on this line. So I'm just going to rest that right there. Now, I got the old brakes. Probably still had a little more brake on there. But these jokers are rusty, making noise. So, if you look at the new brake and the old brake, make sure they match up. Look at the difference. New brake and the old brake. They're identical. All right, and you'll notice outside, outside brake, don't have the little, uh, Silver piece, which when your brakes start wearing down, brakes start wearing down. There's a little silver piece right there. That's how you rub against the metal till you need a brake replacement. That little metal piece will start squealing. Take out the inside. See, the metal piece will come off the inside. Yeah, they match. So this is the part where people uh, tend to screw up. But before you do all that, so you won't have to bleed these brakes. So you don't have to bleed the brakes. You want to pull your brake cap off. So when you get ready to push these calipers in, you won't lose any fluid. And it's easy to get the pressure back in your brake cap. Gotta get the brake grease. Yes. 
see. They say this stuff, some people don't get it, some people do. But, you know, I learned a lot from my brothers and my dad. They think I wasn't listening, but I was paying attention. That's what the, you know, the spook who sat by the door. Yeah. How was that, guy? Yeah. So what you want to do is kind of grease these. Kind of grease these little these little brackets. So you break down, no problem, slide. Put a little bit on the outside of this, uh, on the outside of this caliper. Yes, yes. Now, you don't want to ruin this boot, but that's where your brake, where your brake fluid go to and get you to stop. Now, a little trick I also learned is to take the old brake. Let's see if you can see that. Take the old brake. See how I got the old brake right there? Take the old brake. And I'm gonna use this old brake to push this caliper in. So I, it's good to get you one of these little tools right here. You just take this tool. Yeah, some of these companies not gonna want you to know this. But you watch, you learn. It is what it is, y'all. And then you just take this little thing. You just keep on twisting. What this thing is doing is pushing all this fluid, pushing all this fluid back through the line into the reservoir. So when you do it like this, you don't have to bleed these brakes. So you don't take this brake screw out. So if you're not a mechanic, or if you're not one of those guys that know exactly what you're doing, bleeding the brakes can be a headache. And notice this right here has a dual piston. So I'm gonna do both sides to kind of try to balance it up. Try to keep this uh try to keep the tool somewhere in the middle. Because what you do on one side. The fluid is going to push back to the other side. So you want to kind of keep it in the middle. Now that I got the fluid going, now it'll be easy to kind of get them evenly going. So I can push that all the way in. If you don't push this thing all the way in, uh, let's just say you can't get your brakes on. in now what I'm gonna do take my new brakes so your metal piece metal piece go to the inside Slide that on. Alright, see that right there? Got them both on there. Yes. Caliper in. Pitch just pushed in. Alright. Now, let's finish the job. Get that camera right so you can see it. 
exactly what I'm doing. All right, so brakes on. So now, I'm gonna take this. I wanna make sure you got a clean, a little clean spot. I don't want any obstructions. So now, I'm just gonna take this caliber. Screw back in. The screw might turn. And if the screw turns, just get you a 19 millimeter socket. Put on that inside screw. Keep it from turning. All right, just want to make sure everything is in line. All right, no restrictions on the line. Everything is back in. Take my socket. construction and all this road construction all these rocks just nothing that mess up your mess up your alignment Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I'm gonna get these started. to do that thing in one turn. They'll get that thing in the one turn. It's all the way to be, be all the way out. Yeah, I ain't that good though. I did teach me how to work with my hands though. Yeah. Not only can I do stuff with a ball. Do stuff with a tool, with a wrench too. Yeah. Yeah. See, you never forget what you what you really love to do. And I got those a little tight. Yeah. <laughs> Going down that road. Ain't getting moving. 
trouble. Trouble come your way. Anybody need a mechanic? Yeah. I'll come to your house and do your brakes. Yeah, I think I got that. Now, see your little buddy here. So you got these little opening grooves. Let's try to line that up. That's not it. That might be it. And if it's not, keep turning until you get it straight. Yeah. I think we're fine, man. Yeah, you don't want to lose that piece. a little bit off. You know it's perfect because it'll snap all the way through. This is the most important part. Now, see here, oh, I took this caliper off. And I took this back cap off. Put that back on. See the fluid? I need to top it off, but I'll top it off in a minute. Make sure that's on. And now, when you do this, your brakes gonna go all the way down to the floor. So what you do is, you pump those brakes all the way in. Ooh, that didn't take long. Pump those brakes all the way in. Yeah. See that right? Per money. 